Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Finally, senior citizens in here. Greetings, boys, girls, and to all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this brand new day. And remember, no matter who you are, you are valid. Thumbs up for that. Well, hokey smokes, it is a brand new day. It's been cold and wet and not windy, but chilly, gray. It has been raining, but it wasn't just misty when I went out. And oh boy, my bone spurs on my right heel. Not horrendously terrible. I was able to walk to Walmart and back, but it wasn't great. I mean, hokey smokes. Bone spurs are no fun. and I have days where I cannot walk, and there's days where I can walk almost normally. And then days like yesterday. Oh boy. Oh boy. Pain is fun. Still though, life is life. Also, since I had mentioned yesterday, I thought I would buy these just because sweet potato pie versus pumpkin pie. Now these are just little tarts that you can get from Walmart. But yeah, I this is the one for me. I bought this one because I, I won't spit at it or throw it away. But given a choice, sweet potato pie. <laughs> just thought I'd I'd show these. <coughs> Excuse me. Not a ton has happened since yesterday. Because of my heel, I was not able to do much at all. I just stayed in here. I watched videos. I tried to play computer games. I dug through... Well, I don't have anything over here. I thought I did. I dug through my various board games and such, and I, I did what I could. Tried to learn some just dug through other parts so I'm I'm doing things and I'm trying to be creative as creative as possible and I'll come back to the whole creative stuff of the solo RPG setting because first I also wanted to mention this I cannot remember who mentioned this in the comments and I don't even know if they watch anymore if if they if that's not English what I'm just trying to say is I don't remember who suggested this anymore but, because it was really inexpensive, like $7, I bought, I don't know how to pronounce it, either Lunacid or Lunacid. Because you can pronounce it Luna, C-I-D, or Loon, Acid. How is it pronounced? I'm not sure. But it is a, boy, talk about retro feeling. They took inspiration from the old Kingsfield and Shadow Throne, another thing that they had done before all of the demons' souls and all that and, and such. It was a throwback to the earlier things, and it's good, but oh my gosh, it's hard. I don't do well in some situations. I'm, I don't know how to fight some things well, and so I do very poorly. There are some creatures that are like mummies, and you can set them on fire or beat them and, and do things, and I usually just get murdered. So, but it's good. It looks good. It looks very retro. And as somebody pointed out, in the intro video, your character is being dumped into this pit. You grab a hold of the the cart that you're being dumped from. All these other bodies have fallen. You're hanging on. And the guy that was dumping you off chops off your hand. You fall, and then he just scrapes your hand off afterward. From that point on, when you start doing things, you actually only are shown with the one hand. You never see the other hand do anything because it got cut off. But you don't need two hands. But as the guy who was reviewing this sort of thing pointed out, you know, because of that, if you have a shield, you don't have a shield. You just got a really big hammer. And there's two-handed weapons that most people would struggle to work with. And you're whipping them around with that one hand like it's no problems. So, it is fun. It's just really, really difficult. And, and I am at the point where I can't get past the mummies, so yay, but I'll get there. Which is the same thing. I'm not sure where to go in Kingsfield 2. So I haven't really advanced in that one. Just as I haven't really advanced any further in Shining in the Darkness, another game that I've been playing and posting about from the Sega 
Sega world. So I'm trying and doing my best. So yay on that. But as a really quick aside on ADHD fueled topic jumping, they've been coming out with a whole lot of retro things and some I really want for stupid reasons and some I don't. They've, there's an Atari 7800 plus. Looks kind of cool. I mean, I kind of like that. That'd be neat. But I'm, I'm not really going to shoot for it. The one thing that weirdly I really want is they've come up with the retro Spectrum ZX. Oh my god. I want one of those so bad. And the thing is, the ZX, primitive. Oh my god. It came out ages ago, about the same time as the Commodore 64 and the Apple II and all that. But even compared to those, it is primitive and crippled. It can't even do as much. But oh boy, just looking at this stuff in videos over the years, I have wanted one so bad. <laughs> and now they've got, the, along with all these other things, a, a spectrum. But of course, it's only available in Europe. And if you're going to order it over here, then you've got a, a conversion of currencies to either euros or the British pound. And uh, but I don't have a hundred and some odd dollars to buy that because I'm still working on getting a computer, which until somebody had brought this up, which I believe it was Sir Schmuckle had brought up in the comments about the whole shipping thing asking about Walmart Walmart has the same issue with the address thing which is so weird I get shipments from Amazon no problem because in the address bar I type in my not address bar address forms I type in my address and then when it says apartment I type in my unit number and then things get shipped here when I go to Walmart and I type in my address, it does what the Cyber PC thing does. It highlights my address and says, your address does not work. We can't ship here. Do you want to fix that? And I don't understand why they can't ship to an address if they have a form spot that says to put your address in. Why does it not work? So, even though I had gotten a form from CyberPC saying, you know, first they sent me an email saying, We're, this is not an answer to your problem. We're sending this up so someone can answer your problem. But until we do, here's some automated responses. And the automated responses had nothing to do with the situation. And I typed out exactly what the problem was. And I never heard anything back. And then I got another form that said, how did your, your the customer support go? Did it fix your problem? And considering they didn't do anything at all, I just sent the form back saying, you know, I wanted to give you my, my money, but uh, you don't want my money. I tried to tell you that I wanted to give you my money, and you told me in no uncertain words, you don't want my money. So, okay, I will give my money to someone else and not you. And I haven't heard anything back from that either. So I'm going to still try calling them to see if they do want my money. But otherwise, I mean, Sir Schmuckle was talking about pre built on Amazon, and I should probably look some of, of those. They've got the little mini, mini PCs on Amazon. And while I'm still not too thrilled about the look of that, I had the integrated graphics in the old Alienware laptop that was given to me before this current laptop. And that one, unfortunately, the network card died. So it's useless as a computer because I can't update it with anything. Can't go online, can't do anything like that but it had an integrated card and it was years old too and it could run things pretty bloody good some things it couldn't like the a lot of current stuff it struggled with but fallout new vegas ran buttery smooth 
this struggles when I bring it down, down, down all the graphics levels, and it struggles, and it's it's not smooth at all. So, yay. But still, point being, I'm still trying to spend my money because I want a computer. I will set money to get a computer. I'm fighting against my own executive function and dysfunction issues. So, I have not stopped. The money to get a computer is sitting in my savings account, waiting to be spent. I just need to find a good place that will take my address so we can do that. If, Sir Schmuckle, and you're watching, you have any good Amazon pre built that you wanted to send forward, that'd be awesome, or anybody at all. So that would be cool. Definitely a thumbs up, but I wanted to fill people in on that. Yay! And then, of course, on the solo RPG front, with the whole creative stuff, I've been thinking about all sorts of other things, trying to figure out the world and all. So that's a good thing. Still working and thinking on things. After all, there is the character Denthal came from the... Uh, it's a city, but it's not a big city because it's a Habani city, and they are very spread out because they're trying to be working in accordance with nature. You don't fight it, you don't kill it, you work with it. And so they're very spread out. But when the main character, not main character, but when one of my characters, Danthal, comes from the, the uh, village, town of Komad, and then goes to the port city, slash town, whatever, of Tuathic, even though the numbers are different, even though Komat is a large place, it's like I come from the city of, you know, I was born in Bellingham, Washington. And Bellingham is about, I think it's, last time I looked, it's like 120, 130,000 people. And it's been big all my life, but not that huge. But 100,000 people? Pretty big. After all, in places like South Carolina, the capital is only like 150,000 people, something like that. A lot of people. But you compare somebody who's lived in a town or city of 100,000 people, feeling pretty metropolitan, and then goes to a place like London or New York, where the population is in the millions there's a difference there. Sure, the 100,000 population place ain't small. Komat ain't small. But in comparison to places like Tuathic, yeah, it's the same thing as going from a town of 100,000 people, Bellingham, Washington, and making a visit to London. I think it was like 8 million people when I was there in the Air Force. So, yeah, a bit of a difference. And that's the, what he experiences. Again, more spread out. And it's not millions. It's just bigger. But even at that, it doesn't do the trick. And that's when he takes the trip 1,500 kilometers down south along the coastline with the West Adanya Merchant Group to the little settlement of Nagrad, the Apani word for home. Now, of course, the West Adanya Merchant Group, I've even been thinking of working on that. Because on the continent of Landala, about 2,000 kilometers over to the east is Adanya. And in Adanya, they have the Merchant Group. But after the discovery and transfer of information and stuff with Karthkog, the merchant group got enough of an interest together that they packed up money and resources and opened up a, what would you call it? A, a far office <laughs> of the merchant group on the coast in the, t the city state of Thalmane. Adanya opened up the west Adanya Merchant Group, where they are sending ships out over to Karthkog and down through to Steldon, where the Goya are, and so 
the West Adanya Merchant Group is just the Adanya Merchant Group, except a couple, well, only about a thousand kilometers only over to the west on the coast where Thalane is. So thumbs up on that. But after going down to Nagrod, uh, that's where, of course, Danthal stays in one of the day houses because of the day house that's like a boarding house where you rent a room with a common area and then you go to eat and drink at a long house where you go in and you pay your cash or whatever for capital and then you get a plate and as long as you finish your plate and eat everything on it you can keep coming back up and getting it filled and as long as you don't become disruptive, you can keep getting your mug of mead or beer or whatever filled up so you can drain it down your gullet. Just eat everything you're given, because if you don't, you can't bring it up and they're watching so you're not scraping it off anywhere. People wouldn't do that. Here they would. <laughs> Luckily in this world, they don't. And as long as you're not disruptive, you can keep pouring that, that alcohol down your throat. And that's what happens in the longhouse. The other thing I was thinking of, just to show the weirdness, because where would this come up on a game or a story? Where I figure, yeah, they have ice boxes for refrigeration. They wouldn't just use root cellars. They've got ice boxes where the you know you open up your container you slide in your block of ice on top so that the coolness goes down and you refrigerate your stuff and then once a week they come by if if you subscribe to getting ice just like you know a milk person would come by and deliver milk once a week they come by with ice and i figure it'd be pretty easy for the place that makes ice to just have a mold fill that whole thing up with water and then you have a person who can freeze all that break the mold out put the ice on the cards take it out magic of course while it exists isn't magic a zero oh my god dimension object has no shadow because it is everything a two-dimensional being casts a one-dimensional shadow a three-dimensional being casts a two-dimensional shadow. A fourth-dimensional being casts a three-dimensional shadow. People that can use magic in this world are able to use brain structures to manipulate the shadows of fourth-dimensional objects. If you manipulate a shadow you manipulate the actual object, force, or energy. So you manipulate fourth dimensional objects, energies, and forces, and just as you're able to manipulate the shadow because of doing that, the shadows affect what happens down here, the manipulated shadows. So you may just be manipulating fourth dimensional forces and energies, but the effect is you tap the mold and the ice spreads out through the mold and then it's all frozen. Now, of course, you would think, well, could you use that to zap someone and freeze them? Different purpose, different need. It's like the same way that a construction tool. If you use a nail, you can bang in a hammer. You use a nail, you can bang in a hammer. You use a hammer, you can bang in a nail. If you have a screw, you need a screwdriver. But if you have to, you can bang it in with a nail. Gosh darn it, I can English with a hammer. Is it going to do as good a job? No. Will it be the proper effect that you want? Probably not. Will it work? Kind of, sort of, maybe. So same thing, try to use that frozen spell that freezes water to zap somebody who is a bad person well, maybe you're doing the effect of using a screwdriver where you should be using a, uh, a wrench or a, a socket wrench, you know, something like that, where a screwdriver isn't really going to do the trick. you got to use the right tool. Maybe it'll work. 
Maybe it'll only partially work. Maybe it'll fizzle out entirely. It's hard to say. But if you have the right tool, well, yeah, combat spells, you could have the manipulation of forces and BAM! Wherever you just hit that person, oh, their arm just froze solid like a rock up to the shoulder. And bang, you just smacked it with a sword and shattered into a thousand pieces. Could happen. But hey, this late into the video, if you could like, comment, share, subscribe, that'd be very awesome. And share only with people that you think would like to watch an old man yammer on about Ainan subject in a thoroughly incomprehensible fashion. I can speak English. Incomprehensible? <sighs> Incomprehensible. How about that? That would be very, very cool. Definitely a thumbs up. And of course, if you're a Patreon patron, thumbs up and thank you so very much. You, too, are a sweet potato pie. And that's a very good thing. Thumbs up and thank you. If you have left me a comment, you too are a beautiful and awesome person. Maybe a pumpkin pie in a world of gravel and rocks. And this is a good thing to be in that case. So thumbs up and thank you. And of course, I am just going to edit, render, upload, and then try my best to take care of myself. It being a Monday, and it's a holiday week, and I've got an appointment tomorrow. I keep forgetting to say that. I have physical therapy for my foot at the hospital, 9.45, but I haven't done the paperwork. I don't even know where it is, so I have to be there about 9 o'clock to get the paperwork done for my appointment. <sighs> So if you have watched this far, if you could type potato pie into the comments to let me and the YouTube algorithm know that people watch the videos, that would be truly awesome. There are a couple people that do that, and it is appreciated. It is not needed. It is not required. I couldn't force you to do it, even if I wanted to. But the fact that there are people out there that do that, thank you so much. You are, you're, you're some of the good ones. So, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And that is indeed a sweet potato pie. <laughs> I have thoroughly given in to the nonsense as I've gotten older. And I pretty much don't care if, if I'm comprehensible at times. If I am just thoroughly incomprehensible and confusing. Hey, welcome to humanity. You take care.